Is he gonna be able to talk or? Yeah, hang on. Hello. Hang on, hang on. Okay, as soon as I uh, get the hang of this uh, microphone, I think uh, I'll be able to uh, talk. Anyway, can everyone hear me fine? No. Yeah. Raise it up just a bit, man. Can it? Okay, how about now? Hello, Freedom Fest! How about now? Alright, right on. Okay, uh, before I, uh, I begin, I just want to uh, basically give our event organizer, Brian Foster, for whom none of us would be here today, big ups in getting us together and organizing this thing. Because without him... <laughs> And uh, big ups, obviously, to uh, the people that helped Ryan out. Ryan actually took it over from, uh, um, you had uh, Daniel Marchant, who did it last year, so thank you, Daniel. And uh, anyway, so, who am I? Well, my name is Mike Fan, and I'm a political science student at uh, UBCO, an activist. And uh, I wanted to come here and talk to you guys about well, well, freedom. Um, so this concept of freedom is obviously uh, quite important, uh, especially now when we're in the midst of economic crisis as well as an impending environmental crisis. So it's obviously imperative to try to do what needs to be done. Achieve it. <laughs> the fact is, we are now living during a critical historical crossroads. And like all works in the road of history, confusion abounds over the model of social, economic, and political freedom, which model to pursue. Clearly, our old system of political economy is dysfunctional. Sustainable. Excuse me, Mr. Curious here, what's in there? We have nachos. Can I see? You're in the way, and sir, come on. It's, uh, we got sour cream, salsa, and guacamole. Good for you, on good for you. Okay, go. let's see the bottom there. And then underneath, the nachos. Beautiful, beautiful. Glad to see you're not wasting anything. I'd like to get my picture taken with you. Hello. There you <laughs> Getting pictures with strangers across Canada. Thank you very much. progress and new opportunity for better quality of life that we're all seeking. When are, when are you folks up? When are you guys up? Uh, 745. Yeah. Libertarian ideology is in fact the highly subversive to social progress in general, which is to say it is a menace to all of our freedom. So, who are you people and what are you doing here? Summer Tribe. Summer Tribe. You guys are going to be the best, I think. Oh, no way. So, we're apparently hostile to the very thing that the to Well, it's because when one reads the fine print of this ideology, it is in fact highly prejudicial in what it considers to be true freedom. The emphasis on individual freedom, and especially individual freedom as it pertains to private property and free enterprise, is held as absolute and inviolable, and trumps all other freedoms and human rights. Rights to food, shelter, education, health care, a decent quality of life for all. They're all secondary considerations the libertarian philosophy to a person's a absolute and inviolable, and inviolable uh, right to make their own decisions. So if people have to starve on the street so individuals retain their rights not to be taxed or a tax to be imposed on them by some alien power of government, then this must never be accepted. Unfortunately, to guarantee that there is human rights and fair opportunities for all to enjoy freedom and a good life, government must be involved in mediating it. 
History has taught us that a truly free economy leads only to epic. Just a moment, I would like to explain what we're going to do next because it's got to do with the theme of this festival, which is freedom. And I don't know if, well, how much you know about the history of Brazil, but in Brazil, slaves were brought from Africa and they had a martial art that they used to fight. And they used to pretend they were dancing while they were training this fight. So it was a dance. <laughs> Show me the best move in the world.